Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can work in one password to make it uh, the best for you, for your team and how you can work in it to achieve what you what you want. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at onepassword.com or log in to our existing account, but I believe that you already are familiar with it. So uh, straight away, when we logged in, we are greeted with our dashboard or our workspace. So straight away, we can focus on the right sidebar. As you can see, it's my name with my profile. You can get an apps and so on and sign out. Also, we have a dashboard, which is this thing people that we want to invite but the, at the moment there's just me invitations that uh, we sent but we are only about to send it so if you want to send uh, an invite to our one password group uh, we can invite by email for example so we click on uh, there let's go with like this you can uh, make him a guest or team member and invite Right now, we have one pending invite left. We can also go like that. As you can see, uh, we sent two emails or two invites. Uh, we can go to groups. As you can see, in uh, one password, you have uh, three groups, administrators, owners, and team members. Then there are vaults. We are about to make a new vault in a, in a minute. Uh, integrations. I already integrated Slack. As you can see, you, if you have a Slack account and you are also familiar and working in Slack, you can make this integration work pretty easily straight through straight through one password. And then there is a billing, but at the moment we are enjoying a trial version for 14 days. And then there is a settings. You can manage basically anything. Even, even Slack. So when we are here uh, and we invited the people into our group, as you can see, as I said, two invites are already pending. Uh, we can go and we can create a shared vault. We have a suggestions or custom. We can pick a logo, but that's, I believe that's uh, not an issue, but yeah. Well, let's go with this vault logo, vault name, mstone passwords, description, one pass tutorial, it's for administrators, and we can edit and create a vault. Now we created a vault for our uh, for our passwords, we can go to view vault. And as you can see, now oh, there's more options like import data, more options. More, uh, for example, we can delete it. And it's for owners and administrators. So any administrator uh, from those inv invited guys that I invited can uh, simply turn into administrator and uh, be part of mstone passwords uh, vault. But let's go and view the vault. We have all items here. When we click on the middle of our screen, on the bottom part, there's this uh, plus button, and we can pick what we actually want to, what we want to add in our vault. For example, logins, secure note, credit card numbers, and so on and so on and so on. Favorites. There's a watchtower for uh, vulnerable passwords, and. Uh, this graph will show you overall password strength. For example, compromised websites, reused passwords, and so on and so on. So if you, they don't really want you to use the same password on multiple websites. Weak passwords, unsecured two-factor authentications, expiring, and so on. And then we can go to categories for credit cards. You can just add a credit card identity, secure notes, and also logins. 
but let's go to all items and let's uh, let's uh, save our first password. So go for plus and we can go for a login, for example. Title, let's go for our Zapier account, like this. Username, password, uh, one moment. like this and you can actually you can actually pick if you want to use and generate new passwords for that you don't actually have to remember them because you will be using them automatically on this computer so you can add words barracks there is an uh, ignore prepay there can be digits or doesn't have to be or also symbols but let's go with a normal one so I'm gonna address the one that I have there. Website. Like this. Label, notes and tags. And we can press save. As you can see, the strength of our password is not actually very strong. But that... Uh, we don't care at the moment about it. Next thing, if we want to log in straight away uh, to our Zapier account, we need a password manager at uh, Chrome Web Store. So we can add it to the Chrome. We can add the extension. Now we have to sign in. Stone password. We are going to use master password. And our passwords are ready to go. As you can see, if we click on the top corner of top right corner of our screen, there's one password manager. So you can watch the YouTube video and so on. So straight away, we have a uh, first item. We can click our, to our vault, mstore passwords, view vault, and we can go to zapier.com. And now, as you can see, straight away, we have this little icon. When are, uh, when are we logging in? And there's a Zapier straight through my vault. We hit continue. And we are in, in our integration app. So it's very, very easy to maintain. I strongly advise you when you are getting, uh, when you are uh, creating your account, you get something that's called uh, emergency kit. And I uh, strongly advise you to download it. This is our emergency kit. And if your account get hacked, save this one because this secret key will be the only way that you can actually retrieve your password or retrieve all your information at, uh, uh, at one password. Now we can also go and add, for example, credit card so as you can see we can go with mastercard cardholder name type mastercard for example number uh, verification number expiry date and so on and so on so next time when you will be ordering something through internet you can just use all those informations and you won't ever need the like pick it from your uh, from your bag or from wherever. You don't have to go for your uh, credit card and get it. So that's very useful. Uh, for example, okay, we can cancel it and we can go with with passwords. 
Now those passwords are just passwords, uh, not the logins. So basically, if you want to add a password from your, for example, I don't know, Wi-Fi, but I believe there's a Wi-Fi option as well, or a virus router, you just get there and you just get there and you can um, really like save your password through one password and you'll be the only one uh, with entry or you can set up uh, your one password for your family and when you uh, send all those invitations and they accept it, uh, accept it they can just peek into the passwords that you send them so it's very useful way how you can manage your privacy even in your team in your in your family with your friends and so on and so on so yeah that's about that's about uh, one password thanks for watching and see you on the next video